All right, Todd's back with our full look at forecast. Things still fairly quiet in weather world right now. I mean, basically, yeah. I mean, for January, yes. I mean, there easily could be, you know, a big coastal storm just nailing us with snow and wind and coastal flooding. And we're actually pretty close to one. Um, we've been showing you the swirl out here south of Nova Scotia for days and days. That storm is 500 miles away from us. 500, that's a long way. Yet it's still producing snow showers over the state. And we've had a few intense ones move through through the course of the night. You'll notice a little feather dusting on a lot of your cars when you head out this morning. And there are some snow showers that are coming down the west side of Penobscot Bay, uh, Belfast area, uh, back to Montville. And some of those will drop maybe a half an inch of snow. There are more out in the Callis area too in St. Stephen and Washington County. Now, because of the clouds last night, our temperatures didn't drop a whole lot. These numbers are pretty close to what we should get in the afternoon this time of the year. They're between 30 and 35, but still right around that freezing mark. So again, slick spots possible. We do have wind on the backside of that storm. It's still blowing out of the north and it'll be 10 to 20 miles per hour again. So that drops our temperatures by 10 degrees easily. That's the feels like temp, the wind chills. So this morning, lingering snow showers, there are fresh coatings and there'll be some fresh slick spots for you too. And that Breeze, yes, is still biting. Clouds break up. We'll develop sunshine by the middle of the day in many spots. It'll be very bright, too, because of that fresh snow. And the temperatures, mild-ish, upper 30s, maybe even 40 across the south. But that breeze is going to chop those temps back a little bit, chop them down about 10, as I mentioned. Mostly clear and quiet this evening, and we'll have a cold night tonight with lows around 20 by tomorrow morning. So these are those mildish temperatures, mid to upper 30s for highs. Our normal high is 31. So we're a good five to maybe 10 degrees higher than that. The wind though out of the north, 10 to 20 miles per hour. So it does feel a lot colder and even the mountains not doing that bad with a high near 30. As we look ahead, it'll be quiet and cold through the weekend. Tomorrow looks fine. Some afternoon snow showers up north. And then on Saturday, that storm swirls well south of us. That's a complete miss. In fact, there really isn't a storm threat until the middle of next week with another southern stream storm system trying to curl up the coastline. Uh, very uh, unlikely at this point, but we've got to keep our guard up for it because this time of the year they can easily you know, start shifting north. So here's the next seven days. We get a little snow tomorrow up north in our northern Maine counties, uh, northern Penobscot, Piscataquis, and Aroostook. And next week in the middle of the week, there's that other storm trying to graze us and we'll see if it comes farther north and gives us a hit or not. Other than that, it's just quiet. Marine forecast small crafts are up seas three to five feet. North winds gusting to 30 knots. So we'll develop sunshine today. It'll be breezy out there tomorrow. Some afternoon snow showers are possible up north. Temps both days in the 30s over the weekend. That storm misses on Saturday. It's quiet and cold on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, still nothing with highs in the 30s, and we'll be watching something for the middle of next week. And here's your uh, coastline forecast. Temps just a few degrees warmer than the interior and really no change, except I don't think there'll be any snow showers tomorrow along the coastline. So it's just northern Maine that sees them, Lee. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.